वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम साहिल एंड वी आर लर्निंग पी ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दिस इज द सेवेंथ वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट व्हाट इज इनहेरिटेंस एंड सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अबाउट एबस्ट्रैक्शन इन पी ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग सो बिफोर गोइंग टू सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट इज एबस्ट्रैक्शन इन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग abstraction is a process where we show only the relevant data and hide unnecessary details of an object from the user in simple words we can say data abstractions means any representation of data in which the implementation details are hidden or abstracted now let's see some important points of an abstract class abstract classes may or may not contain abstract methods if a class has at least one abstract method then the class must be declared as abstract if a class is declared abstract it cannot be instantiated it means we cannot create any object of an abstract class to use an abstract class you have to inherit it from another class if you inherit an abstract class you have to provide implementation to all the abstract method in it we use the keyword abstract before the class name or methods to make the class abstract now why abstract class is used the use of abstract class is to provide a kind of template to inherit from and to force the inheriting class that is child class to implement the abstract methods now let's start coding to understand abstraction in better way so open your code editor now here you can see an empty index.php file now inside this file first i will create a class so create a class person now inside this person class i will declare two member variable so here i will use public access specifier and then dollar name then public dollar age okay now i will define a constructor method for this class so to define constructor method you just have to write function keyword and then double underscore then write construct okay now i will pass to argument dollar n and dollar a for this constructor method now by using this constructor method i will initialize the value of these two member variable okay so here just write this keyword and then name equal to dollar n and this keyword age equal to dollar a okay now let's create a non abstract method for this class okay so here just write public access specifier and then function and uh, then write any name for this method like uh, hello okay now just simply write a message this is an abstract class okay now use br tag for line break now let's declare an abstract method inside this class so to declare an abstract method you just have to write abstract keyword just before the access a specifier so write abstract then public function and just write the function name so here i am writing so data now here you can see i have just declared this function not defined this function okay so this is an abstract method inside this person class now if we just create any object of this class then let's see what happens okay so let's create an object of this class dollar o b equal to new person okay and save this and go to the browser and refresh now here you can see class person contains one abstract method and must therefore be declared abstract or implement the remaining method okay so as i have told you that if we will uh, create any abstract method inside the class then we have to 
use this abstract keyword just before the class name also okay so just write the abstract keyword here also and save and let's go to the browser and check now here the error has changed cannot instantiate abstract class person okay so uh, i have already told you that uh, we cannot create any object of an abstract class okay so how to use the properties and method of this abstract class so for this we have to create an another class and we have to inherit the properties and method of this abstract class okay using the child class so let's create an another class so here just write class and here i will write user now extends person okay now now this user class will inherit all the properties and method of this person class okay now let's define this show data method in user class okay because here this is not defined here is only declared okay so we have to de uh, define this so data method inside this class okay so for this here just write public function sorry function and so data method name now here i will use echo and now my name is now dot operator for concatenation and use this operator and here you can see i am accessing this member variable dollar name because this class is extending this class and we can access any public or protected member variable inside this child class okay that's why i am writing this keyword and then name okay now concatenate again and now here and i am i am dot operator and again concatenate and use this and then write age concatenate again and now this time write years old okay br type for line break now if we go here and just create an object of this class dollar ob equal to new and user and just save and go to the browser and refresh now here you can see a error uncaught argument count error because it, uh, if we just extend the person class then this constructor function is automatically called in this user class okay so here we have to pass two argument because here you can see i have passed dollar n and dollar a so here we have to pass two argument for name and age because this dollar n is initializing in this name and this dollar a is initializing in this age okay so by using this constructor method we are giving some values to this member variable and by using this user class we can just write name sahil or here just the age okay now if we save this and go to the browser and refresh then here we can see the error has gone now to display the value we have to call this so data method okay so by using this dollar ob we can call the so data method okay now if we save this and go to the browser now here we can see my name is sail and i am 24 year old okay now if we try to access this hello method by using the same object then let's see what happens dollar ob equal to hello okay now you can see this is also accessible from the child class because this is public 
and this is a normal function okay so we can access this using this class okay so now if we just create another abstract method like uh, abstract public function add and here just pass argument like dollar x and dollar y okay and uh, we have to implement this method inside this user class so we can implement this like public function add and here we just have to write dollar x and dollar y and here i will use return dollar x plus dollar y okay now if we just call this add method dollar ob equal to add and we have to pass to our actual argument so 10 comma 20 and we have to echo this okay now if we go to the browser so here we can see the sum of x and y is 30 okay so just give some message here sum equal to and concatenate now here you can see sum equal to 30 okay so here you can see the use of abstract class we cannot create any object of this class but we can inherit the properties of this class into the child class okay so this is the use of an abstract class so i hope you understand the concept of of an abstract class so in the next video i will show you about interface okay so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel